uh, the understanding that the water problems cannot be solved with uh, technology or with money, but uh, uh, they must be solved with the participation of all stakeholders and a set of uh, different uh, instruments that can be strategic, that can be institutional, uh, governance, uh, legal, uh, they can be for sure technological, social, and all together uh, with all those uh, different approaches we can achieve uh, those very important goals. Water is precious. So nobody can make water. So we have to use water efficiently. Well, Argentina has uh, now a, a plan uh, that has been developed at the beginning of our government. It is a plan that uh, has uh, as a main focus to develop the water as a key resource for improving the quality of living of our people and also as a key resource, as a driver for a sustainable development. Main message, advance the new normal now. Water utilities need to think 30 years, 50 years, 100 years in advance when planning their financial model. Public-private partnerships are, is a situation, is a contractual arrangement between a government entity and a private corporation or company where they co-leverage their strengths to achieve a common goal. So in the case of the water sector, the common goal could be increasing and expanding um, connection within a particular city or metropolitan area. The contribution of the private sector is not always, but in a lot of cases, financing and technical expertise. Whereas the government's role is in reducing the risks for entry of the private sector. So legislation, stakeholder engagement and the like. Because I'm a, I'm a professional working in wastewater recycling in Ghana. So seeing the expertise from across the world in terms of wastewater recycling, it's a very big opportunity for me to learn what is happening in Latin America, what is happening in Europe at the same time. So it, it has provided a one-stop shop to learn from all over the world. Mm.